challenges that TechnoQuest face at the moment, are, one of them is really the fact that people don't realise or appreciate we're a charity. That we have heavily relied on a, a government grant um, for the last 20 years and the government's priorities have changed. We will uh, lose about 45% of our income as a result so we've got a major strategy to try and address that and make sure that we still have a viable future. This project is going to be transformational for our charity TechnoQuest, there's no doubt about it. It's going to ensure that we have new content and new product on offer so that we do become relevant to a whole range of, of different age groups. We obviously want to look at diversification and bringing more new audiences in, so bringing additional value to audiences' experiences and thereby allowing us to connect with adult audiences. And we're very much looking at our immediate communities as well, people that maybe not wouldn't think to come and visit a TechnoQuest. We want to be relevant to them, we want to be welcoming, we want to be much more inclusive. I think there's a real opportunity to grow uh, that part of our audience and to do more with our independent adults and actually bring more people through the door. And that's a fundamental part of our new vision, to be more inclusive and welcoming. Our new space that we're going to build out the back will certainly add to that as well. Our plans for TechnoQuest hopefully are to build an extension here out on the uh, back of our property on Stuart Street and that extension is going to give us a 70% increase in our exhibition floor and by having additional floor space we can obviously populate that with new content and it's that new content that's going to hopefully bring in new audiences. The other angle of our business plan is making sure that people know that TechnoQuest is a venue that they can hire and that means uh, businesses, organisations, community groups can actually look at being part of TechnoQuest and utilising the space, space for a whole range of different um, conferences and networking opportunities. TechnoQuest has a really important role in ensuring that Wales develops a scientifically literate society and we've always believed in that and we feel that there's a a, a, a continued role for us to play in that and to encourage more people across all age groups to show an interest and participate in science, technology, engineering and maths. The UK needs over a million uh, scientists, technicians, engineers and mathematicians um, and obviously Wales has got a role to play in that as well so we know that we need uh, people taking these careers. So for the last couple of years we've really concentrated on cultivating those relationships with stakeholders that want to be part of our development, can see where their alignment is and really start promoting the whole STEM uh, agenda in Wales and for TechnoQuest to be seen to be that major player in STEM communication. We've been doing brilliant things here at TechnoQuest for the last 32 years, but now we've reached a point where we, in order to have a viable future, we really need to ex expand and extend our offer and just get more people backing us and supporting us and wanting to be part of the new TechnoQuest.